This video will discuss the ensemble energy, or the average energy, of a system in statistical mechanics. So an ensemble in statistical mechanics sometimes seems like a fairly nebulous or abstract concept, but basically what an ensemble is is the probability distribution for the states of a system. So atoms and molecules are very, very small particles. They obey the laws of quantum mechanics. And in quantum mechanics, the result when we solve the Schrodinger equation is that we get a discrete set of quantized energy levels. So if we want to calculate the expectation value or the average value of a given property A in statistical mechanics, that's represented by these, uh, bra these braces on the outside of A there. So kind of the less than, greater than symbol on the outside of our property A. So the average value of A is equal to a weighted average for all of those individual states. So the average value of A is equal to a sum over all of the states or all of the over all of the energy levels of the system of the probability of that of that level or probability of that state times the value of the property in that level or state. So we looked at the last couple of videos showing that the probability of observing a specific energy level in statistical mechanics is equal to 1 over the partition function times the degeneracy, the number of states in that energy level, times the Boltzmann factor e to the minus beta times the energy of that level, where beta is the inverse temperature, 1 over the Boltzmann constant times temperature. So this partition function here, q, is the sum over all the energy levels from j equals 1 to n of the degeneracy of that level times its Boltzmann factor, e to the minus beta ej. So if we take this expression for the probability, substitute that in there, take that expression for the partition function, substitute it in, what we get is the average value of the energy for an ensemble or for a system in statistical mechanics is the weighted average, which is the sum over all levels, energy of that level times its probability, or times its relative probability, degeneracy times Boltzmann factor, divided by the sum over all states of degeneracy times Boltzmann factor. All right, so that's useful if we know all of the energy levels and all of the degeneracies and all of the energies of all the levels of our given system. But sometimes we don't know that. Sometimes we just know the partition function. So a lot of times what we want to do for a system is derive the partition function. And then I said that the partition function contains all the information about the system. So if we know the partition function, we can, com we can compute what the energy is without knowing the details actually of what all the probabilities of these individual levels are. So to look at that, we're going to develop a more simplified expression which I'll show you over here. So let's look at this kind of derivative. We're going to look at the partial derivative of the natural logarithm of the partition function with respect to this inverse temperature 1 over Boltzmann factor or Boltzmann constant times temperature. So for now this looks kind of weird but let's just go and see where this leads us. So that's equal to the partial derivative of the natural log of q with respect to q times partial derivative of q with respect to beta. And, the part, and d ln q dq is equal to 1 over q. Derivative of natural log is of x is 1 over x. So this is equal to 1 over q dq d beta. All right. So we have 1 over q d d beta of q. q is sum over all levels of the degeneracy times the Boltzmann factor, e to the minus beta ei, which is 1 over q sum over all the levels. Uh, this is a constant, so we can take that out. It doesn't depend on temperature. And we have derivative with respect to beta of e to the minus beta ei. All right, so if we do that, what we have is uh, e to the minus beta ei. The derivative of that is going to be uh, minus ei times e to the minus beta ei when we take the derivative with respect to beta. So ddx of e to the minus kx is 
minus k e to the minus kx. So that's what we've done here. We're going to take out a minus ei there. So this is now a sum over all levels of minus ei times uh, 1 over q, which we can pull inside the sum, g times degeneracy times Boltzmann factor, still left over. So this is actually equal to minus sum over all levels, energy of each state. I've taken the minus sign to the outside. And this quantity in parentheses here is actually the probability of observing that energy level. So this is a sum over all levels of the energy of that level times its probability, which is in fact the exact expression for our average energy or our expectation value of energy. So this is the negative expectation value of the energy, which was d, d log q d beta. So the expectation value of the energy is actually the negative partial derivative of the natural log of q with respect to beta. So when I said that q has every single property of the system that we can measure inside of it, this is sort of what I meant in that there are various derivatives and things you can do to q to get various properties out of it. This is the thing you do to q to get the average energy. You take the negative partial derivative with respect to inverse temperature of the log of q and that gives you the average energy. There will be other expressions for things like entropy, free energy, chemical potential, etc. But this is what we do for the energy. So it just depends on what it's easier for the particular example that we have. Sometimes we only have a few energy levels and it's easier to do it this way. Sometimes we have a lot and we just know the partition function so it's easier to do it this way. So it all depends on, this, on the problem, but um, our ensemble has a certain probability distribution for the states. Uh, the average value of a property is a weighted average depending on the probability of those states. And that gives us an expression for how we can calculate E as a weighted average of E or in terms of various uh, derivatives of the partition function.